Well, I tweeted because I'd just received it, unpacked it and used it. So that's how long. I've had it a week, a week and a bit, maybe. Um, I've wanted one for a long time. I wanted to spend more money and have a more fantastic one, but I went for the entry level because I could see that it would pretty much do most of what I wanted to do. Um, and I, just, I, I did trouble with uh, what size to get. That was an issue. Um, uh, but I ended up going for one that would fit along the bench. And then I thought, well, whatever fits on the bench, I can do. So that that's why I came to the size. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've been thinking about buying a cutter for a bar cutter for, well, probably 20 years. I don't know, ever since I've heard of them. So, uh, but, but it's, it, it seems like an expensive piece of kit just to cut straight lines. Um, but as soon as you've got one, you realize you we should spend the money years ago. So that's kind of the way the way it was. Um, just with a ruler and the ends of my fingers and um, I'm running out of fingers. So I thought I better get a king cut. So <laughs> it, yeah, just with a ruler on the bench and, and it's an, un, you don't get a reliable straight line over a distance. And yeah, there's also, you know, you occasionally you cut yourself and I think the real driver was I want I want to be able to cut a, a straight line on wallpaper graphics and big graphics, so um, that's that's what I needed it for and why I went for it. What I didn't realise when I first started looking was that actually, because it's the entry level one, you don't have to feed the material through inside the ends of it, so you can actually move it along, and you can cut bigger and longer things quite simply. So that can as soon as I sort of that dawned on me I thought oh that's actually great I don't really need to worry about the fact that it's not 2.6 meters long or, or whatever so I went in at one that fitted on the bench really. Um, it worked very well um, I was very pleased that I got a pack of blades because when I was doing the deal with the guy I thought oh I missed a trick there he wouldn't give me any more more money off I should have asked for a pack of blades but we have a pack of blades anyway with it that was good um, it using it, it's, yeah, it's fine. It takes a bit of getting used to on the depth control, and definitely need a flat surface. But apart from that, yeah, it's great. It does a great job. Peace of mind that I know that when I'm cutting, I'm cutting a straight edge. There's always a worry when you've got, you know, you've just printed two and a half meters of vinyl, and you've added value to it, and you don't want to lose that value. But if you slip with a knife and score across it which doesn't happen very often, but, uh, you know, or you just take a nick out of it and ruin the edge. Uh, it's just that re reliability, really, knowing that I'm going to run the blade down and it's going to be a straight edge and sorted. So the actual cutting, yes, saves, probably saves 50% of the time, but you still got to line it up and get it, get it organised. It is quicker it, as such, but it's, for me, it's more the quality of the, of the cut that's important. Already, I, I prefer it to mucking about with a ruler, so yes. You know, and I've, I haven't done enough on it to, for it to pay for itself yet, but um, it won't take long. I should have bought one years ago. I think the King Cut brand just looks more reassuring when you look it up. Um, and that, that's why I went that way. The fact that you engaged, I mean, I put that little thing on LinkedIn. That's part of my new thing is trying to let people know what I'm up to and stuff. And I was pleased that you responded to that because that for me that was great. I'd actually done something and somebody noticed. Um, and but the fact that you did that was good for me as well because you're engaged in your customers and I could tell that from the fact that you've decided immediately that even though I'm a new customer and haven't got much to say about it, that you want to talk to me about what my needs might be. And I, and that's really why. I said yes, because I thought, well, actually, you know, they're interested in me, so I'll be interested in them. And that's how it works, I think. So whilst I haven't got much to suggest, uh, I, I, I like what you're doing and, and I, I'll probably mirror some of that in what I do.